So I hear some talk in chat about um, running Sunforger. <laughs> I uh, am reading your messages. That makes me sound creepy. Um, and I see that you guys are like, if this doesn't make Chase run Sunforger, then nothing will. Well, you guys, it is finally time for me <laughs> to... I don't even want to call it Boros. I, I am a lore hold person now. All of these lore hold cards fill me with joy. I love it. I think it is so cool. And I do think that uh, a sun forger is needed. Now, <laughs> we haven't even really begun the stream, but I felt the need to do it. Um, just because... Uh, you know, you guys were talking about it in chat, and I thought that was very funny that you were like, if she doesn't run this, I don't know who will. So, <laughs> welcome everybody to another episode of Always Be Brewing. As always, I am your host, Chase, and today we are building Velomachus lore holes. So here is the deal. If you are new to the stream, welcome. If you're not new, I have never been a fan of Boros. I have tried in the past to to really dig deep and, and, and stretch myself beyond my, my colors that I normally build around. And for some reason, when you toss white in with red, I tend to lose interest. Um, then Lorehold is kind of a new expansion past Boros. And I was really intrigued by it. And then I saw Velomachus Quiet, Twitter. I saw Velomachus. And I love free things. Free things. I do really like this. Uh, the concept of, um, yes, seven mana is a bit steep, but being able to cast incense and sorceries with equal mana costs less than or equal to Belmachus. So that gives us a nice, beautiful threshold of seven. That is good. That is glorious. <clears throat> Um, and I really like it. So I thought we could go ahead and see what we can do with this. What are we going to do? When I tell you I have put zero thoughts into this, I never put thought into this. I really like, you know, going in, doing this. Shuffles, hello, confused duck dude. We got muffins, crevice, hermit, druid. Hey, friends. Um, Razia's purification. Let's take a peek. I see girl redacted energy. Hello. Let me see. I got two, two bits of chat coming up. Alrighty. Oh, wow. That's an old one. I like this. It's a cool board wipe. Let's try it out. Oh my gosh. The Zoiag. Oh, I'm hope I'm saying that right. Olive in the sky. Hello. Double vision sounds fun. I like the concept of double vision. Um, extra combat steps. I would like that. I have been told by many people, though, that there are um, some limitations to that. So we're going to need to take that into account. So let's do that. Volcanic vision. I think Rune Chanter's Pike is really sick too. Let's see. Ah! So if you can't hear the music, I'm so sorry. I'm literally trying to like get the music up high so that you can hear it. Um, that works beautifully. Some good combat in there. I'm getting a lot of recommendations in here. If I miss them, I'm so sorry, friends. You can do like cheap instants and sorceries. I like that. I can't spell things right. Also, Mr. Big Benz, thank you for the sub. All creatures that attack this turn. Let's do it. War Leader's Helix. That sounds great. Also, I wanted to apologize to you guys about the delay. 
Um, I had a very bad headache. I still have it, but I needed to lie down. I really needed to lie down and have a moment um, of like s sleep. Not really sleep, just literally me lying down with like an ice pack over my head. But I didn't want to miss the stream, you know, so. We push through and persevere. Wow, I should have just typed in Helix. There it is. Boop. <laughs> well, my spelling is so bad, I can't actually put it out because it's actually hilarious. The spelling is hard on this. Um... Oh, Mr. Big Benz, thank you for gifting subs to lovely people for uh, Gib Dash, Monkey Master Sev, Shuffles, Olive in the Sky, and Dagon uh, 9192. Let's do a lightning bolt. Why not? Wow, my spelling is atrocious today. Boop. Hazards and Dying Fury. Alrighty, if I miss a card, please repeat it in chat. Because uh, we've been getting a lot of really cool recommendations, and I don't want to miss it. Uh, Exile the top four cards. You may cast any number of spells to CMC. Fabulous. I love them. And I just saw in chat Approach of the Second Sun. And we love that. Because that is such a good card. I see a Boros Charm. Also a good card. Um... Port Razor. Whenever it deals coming in, each love it. We do need mana rocks. We already have the Boros Signet yet. No, we don't. I didn't even add it in there. We need the Boros Signet. We need the Talisman of. I think it's Conviction. Called it. Too good at video games. Um. Aurelia the war leader. Oh gosh. Oh, that's because I spelled it wrong. I'm killing it. Um <laughs> Hazard's Monument, Whisper Silk Cloak. We're getting a lot of recommendations today. Love it. Friends, thank you for being here with me. We love a whisper silk cloak. Also, uh, Peep, we got we got Mary and we got Ronnie in the back chilling out with us tonight. Maybe you cast a creature spell. Um, I don't know if we're gonna. No, it's mostly creature spells. If it was just red spells, I'd do it. Definitely a blasphemous act. Um, I just wanted Port Razor and ways to make it unblockable in the deck. Boop. Alrighty. Look at this thing. This is getting a bit cost simmer. Would let you cast anything. See. Oh my god, that's funny. I might actually do that. Um. <laughs> ruby medallion. Good. We love a ruby medallion here. Don't like the ruby medallion cost. I have one. It should be like five bucks. It's like 26. Um. <clears throat> Morag. We do have Infuriate already. Boop. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a def Oh, hold on. I need to do this, you guys. I need to do this because I'm gonna forget these spells. Um, we need a Teferi's Protection. We need a Deflecting Palm. I think we need a Comeuppets. Um, so give me a second. Because I will forget these if I don't do them myself. I'm so sorry, you guys. 26 beautiful people. Primal amulet for cost. Yes, primal amulet. We love a primal amulet here. I keep forgetting that exists and it's a really good card. Um, did I do deflecting palm? We could do a deflecting swat too. I like deflecting palm. Already have it. We could do a SWAT. And then a comma up 
Serpents? I don't know how to spell Kamovitz. I, I can't do it. Um, Scourge of the Throne. Scrooge, oh my gosh. Okay. A cosmic intervention. Exon said, return it to the battlefield. We can pop that in here. Tome of the Guild Pack. I love it. Um, let's see. Comeuppance, please work. I love comeuppance like a lot as a card. Epicenter. Interesting. We like it. Uh, volcanic torrent. Whenever you cast a spell, so it does X is just to do X is the number of spells you cast this turn. Let's see. Savage beating. Sorry, my headache is like really making me like zone in and out. I'm so sorry. I just didn't want to cancel. Double strike and double up your turn turn. Okay, boop. Mana geyser. Yeah, we love that. Fortunate few. Um, rose of rose of chaos. I can't spell to save my life. Are you kidding me? All right, that did not come up as a card. Uh, let's do a Jessica's will though. Let's see Jessica's will because I love Jessica's will. Reforge the soul rogue fire. Um, let's see. Oh, we meet again. Grinning Ignis. Let's see. When a cascade retrace. We could pop it in. No, not to the jeweled lotus. I did do reforge the soul, uh, divine reckoning. Hey, Kyoji. We're gonna need some creatures in here, you guys. We don't have that many. Uh, we are building Velomachus lore hold. Hey, Shmandrew, 26 friends. Hey. Single combat. Each player just sacrifices less. Yeah, let's do a Gisela. She's a good one. Boop. Okay. Um. Hey, Arismont. Boros Reckoner. Love it. Um. Giver of. Runes. Should we do like damage spells or is that a no no? I like that. A wizard's lightning. It seems so small though. Monastery mentor. Oh yeah, that's like non creature. Yeah, okay, yes, yes to the yes to that. Definitely yes to that. Fergie. We could do Bergy. Evangelize. If you control target creature and opponent's choice, so they control that. Be fun. Um, I don't know what Strixhaven bundle I want yet. I actually haven't looked at them. I need to. I've only looked at the commanders. And I need to look at more than just the commanders. Um, Bruce Tarl. Whenever he ran his Velcro Tiger controls, love it. Um, to be honest, I don't know how I want to build this yet. Um, other creature, yes. Um, 
don't know what I want to do with this yet. Oh, that's good. Yes. Um, let's take a pee. I bet peek. <laughs> let's take a pee. I meant peek. Oh my god. Let's take a pee. Oh no. Oh no. Peas in chat, folks. Like it. Um. <laughs> Uh, let's just set up the Omagas if we draw spells, we can cast them for free. Um, what's that new Strixhaven card? Hold on. Will it let us do this? Will it let us do this? Yonk. Oh, it got reprinted. I didn't even know that. That's so cool. Alrighty, you guys. Don't mind me scrolling as my head screams. Let's do the Blade Historian. Gosh. Boop. Double Strike seems good. I also like this. So I'm just gonna go boop. Um, there's a card, sorry. I think we're going to step in the card for Christmas, so he does one now. Um, we're getting there. It was a card. It, here it is, Reconstruct History. I love Reconstruct History. Boop. Okay. Oh, cannot do things correctly. Alright, Belfall Dragon, other creatures to control one one, one one, it does three damage. I like it. Um Rick's extra tree, nice. Balefire Leech Greaves. Um Would Fire Song be bad in here? No, probably not. Probably not. Probably not good in here. I'm just thinking to myself. Love, wear, and tear. Uh, Chandra's ignition seems cool. Storm kiln. We do have Sunforger in here already. Uh, I don't know about the storm kiln artist. Oh, well, you know, that's actually not bad. I had to read the rest of the card. Reading the card actually helps you guys. That's my bad. I forget the name. I know what you're talking about. Scroll wielder. Let's do it. Oh, you guys, my head is killing me. But we push through for art. Disrupt decorum is good. Oh, uh, I'm also going to do this. Uh, we got to get the swords to plowshares. We have to get the path to exile. We did not add Brass's bounty yet. We can. Definite yes to the chaos warp. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just add a pearl medallion while I'm out here. Boop. Let's go ahead and do, um, we cannot legally include a sideboard, so we won't be doing sideboards. Um, I'm gonna do chaos warp. I already did. Do the boots. Profound journey. I think this was spoiled yesterday. 
Oh God, field rebound. That's such a high cost, but that does hit our threshold. Now, what are we gonna do? Oh yes, this card killed me the other night. I loved it. Boots are less than needed. I think the boots are more needed for protection, more than anything else. Itali seems like a good choice. I like Itali. Okay. <sighs> Tibble trickery. Oh, smothering tie. Oh, I love that. Some slight synergy there with the gold span dragon. We do already have wear and tear. Helm of the host seems funny, so we have to. I'm always a pro Helm of the Host player. <laughs> I really like Helm of the Host. We already have 81 cards. We have more creatures than I thought we would, which is really good. Um, as as 28 sorceries, 17 instants. Um, let's see. 15 artifacts. Only two enchantments. I feel like we could do more enchantments. What are some other good copy enchantments? Wild Ricochet. That is not how you spell that, Chase. Let's do that. Helm of the Host. We do have Helm of the Host already. I do love me a Fiery Emancipation. Oh, my head is killing me. Ah, it's like a needle in like right here. Twinning staff or twining staff. I have had some meh. Shark Typhoon is blue, so we can't play that. Hey, at Flurry. Oh my god, I love Assemble the Legion. I feel like eh about the staff. I do love, uh. Oh my god, should I Assemble the Legion? What's the other one? Outlaw's Merriment. I'm gonna get that in here too. Remember the thing is, is which is base five. Hold on. Wait a minute. Oh, see, I thought it was his CMC. So I read that wrong. I did read that wrong. We can also buff his power. Ooh. So what are we gonna do here? How can we buff him? This deck needs an obligatory Ignite Memories or Grape Shot if we're going to play Past in Flames. Oh, I don't want to go Storm. I don't think I have the heart to handle it. <sighs> Lordy friends, hello and welcome. Yeah, I can't handle Storm. I'm so sorry. Um, it'd be interesting. Oh, my head is giving me grief right now, you guys. Oh, I knew this would get recommended. Oof. Underworld Breach is a card. I just... Zombie Fud. Food. Thank you for the follow. Cannot get behind an Underworld Breach. I'll do it for you, but I'm gonna... I have just never been able to vibe with that card, I'm telling you. 
Oh, Scourge of the Nobili. Alright, let's see. I can't tie! I think it's 1-1. One, one. You like that? Sometimes when you- I've, I've brewed Storm before. It's just one of those archetypes I just cannot- I just cannot get into it. And I feel really bad about that, but like- it's too CDH, and I have tried CDH, and I I just can't I can't do it. I wish I could, but I can't. Um, let's see. Ah, let's see. We could do. Whew. I do have a deflecting palm in here already. I'm just trying to remember the name of the land that I'm thinking of. It's the pain land. I don't know Boros, so I feel really bad. It's, it's Forge? Forge? It's a land. I'm so bad. Uh, hey Chase, get a Scott here. What's the deal with this deck? Really like the creep. I don't know what to do with them. I don't know what to do with either, but I'm liking this. Is that what it's called? Uh, I guess I should have said the shock, not the pain land. My bad. Um, so one set of chromas, which we really like. So one set of chromas, what? Memorial? Sacred Foundry, there it is. Shows you how little I touch these colors. Hello, Chase. One commander isn't set on your stream overlay. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for reminding me. Shout out to Muffins on a Hill. Uh, not Muffins on a Hill. Gosh, Crab Baskets. Um, give me a second to fix this issue. I usually have it set up and I know I just didn't today. It's because I moved my stuff around. So shout out to uh, Crab for killing it. While I get this pulled up, let's look at some lands because I know that we're getting in the high 90s right now and that's gonna mean we have a lot of cuts. Um, so let me locate our boy. We'll paste him in here. Oh my God. Cause I am a tired baby. Alrighty. Bless crab for remembering this. Boop. We're gonna take it and we're gonna move it over here. Looking good. Okay. Velox Scripter, hey! Welcome! Thank you for being here. We're just vibing out right now. Um Aria Flame. I really love Aria Flame. Um, so much as a card, actually. Someone said a Rogue's Passage. Rogue's Passage has to be one of my favorite lands ever made. Uh, in all honesty, boom. Someone said a Bedlam Reveler. That's because I can't spell. We do have Chaos Warp. Okay, that's a vibe. Let's see. <sighs> okay. Let's see. The Boros Scry Temple, Chaos Warp, and Removal Mizzix Master you do not have in there. Oof. Let's see, did you decide on the theme for the deck, trying to combo off combat steps? That's actually a really good question. So, this deck, I feel really bad. I never go in with a concept. I really wish I was better about that. 
But I looked at Velomachus and I just thought he was really cool. I like the concepts of getting free things off the top. I really like that. I have a Svela deck. I used to have an Atlapalani deck. Um, I'm not a goalless player, but goalless is so cool. I just really like getting free things and kind of doing wacky stuff with those free things. Um, so right now it's kind of like a go big or go home wild shenanigans. And I was like, this is amazing. Uh, let's do a Slayer Stronghold. Uh, <laughs> no. I can't type to save my life. Oh, we love that buff, though. Um, Chandra's Incinerator is a big chew flyer most of the time. I love Chandra's Incinerator. My only sad thing is, I thought it was any form of damage. It is actually non-combat damage. Um, we don't have a lot of burn in here we have some not a lot though i'm gonna add that to the maybe board well the considering technically use our maybe board here um brute force charm breaker devils with five back spells brute force boom love it oh i love that yeah let's do that Conqueror's Pledge, Velmonk is a cast, so we can pay extra costs like Kicker off him. Conqueror. <laughs> That's not how you spell. Ugh. Conqueror's Pledge. Oh, yeah, we need some tokens. Titan Strength. Question. I know we've already added a ton of things in here, but just, you know, thoughts in my brain. Thoughts. What if we did, like, a bunch of pump spells? Like, a bunch of pump spells. You know, like, a bunch of, like, those cheap, like, um, uh, uh, cha uh draft chaff kind of, like, um, what if we did, like, a feather kind of deal? I know, like, we're, like, already kind of deep in here, but what if we did, like, a feather thing? Titan strength. Yeah, Titan strength. My brain is hurting. Yeah, boom. What if we did something like that? I know we're already so deep into this, but my brain was like, what if, what if though, Chase? What if you did that? And I'm like, mm, brain, sounds like a good idea, brain. Thanks, brain. Um, oh, come on. You're not going to let me type? Okay, we're going to fix this. Deck list. Oh, what am I? Mock. Moxfield, are you okay? Oh, whoa. I'm having some Moxfield issues right now. There we go. Let's try this. Oh, no. Okay, I'm having some issues on Moxfield right now. I see you guys sneaking storm cards into this. I see you sneaking in some of those cards, you guys. Draw a card until end of turn. Target creature gains trample. I like the trample. And the art is kind of cool. Um, Relentless. Assault. I think we have it, but I don't remember. Also, this guy looks like Brett Michaels, and I will never unsee it. Kind of like it. We do have Relentless Assault. Um, I really love Moxfield. <laughs> Like a lot. Uh, it is my new favorite deck building website. Seize the day. We love that. Okay, I thought that I saw I thought it was thirty two dollars. I got very scared. If this accidentally turns into a budget list, I would not be mad. I love gutter snipe. Gravity punch. What are we doing? Chandler, just so you have Chandler. I love Friends as much as the next person, but I don't think we could do Chandler from Friends. Gradivic Punch. Oh, Moxfield, please be nice to me. Target creature control deals damage equal to its power to target player. I love this. Let's ruin everyone's days and just deal so much damage. World at War. Oh, we already have that. I don't know why I was reading it. <laughs> Unleash Fury. There is a real, there is a red card named Chandler. Oh my gosh. I just thought you were, I don't even know, but I like that. <laughs> Just 
destroy target. Oh my gosh. I forgot about him. So no one told you magic was gonna be this way. Love it. Reminds me of Dovin. Dovin. Jovin. No, not Dovin. Jovin. We're gonna break. We're gonna break. Like Moxfield me trying to tell you about Joven's ferrets, which is a card. It's the only ferret in magic. Um, don't lie. Who else claps at the same time in there? Um, all right, let's see. World of War, Unleashed Fury. We got Gravitic Punch. Love it. Um, waves of Aggression. Waves of Aggression. Love it. Um, oh, it's from there it is. I was probably typing it wrong. I think we have Charmbreaker. Yes. Okay. So here. Okay. I have a story behind Joven. This is not related to what we're doing right now, by the way. Um, okay. So if you see, I know the stream makes it a little hard to see, but if you see behind Joven, there is a sign that says Snarg's House of Sin. And I made a group chat with my friends in college called um, uh, Snarg's House of Sin um, because I thought that was the funniest thing ever. I just thought it was really cool <laughs> and they were like what is this and I'm like it's a it's a magic card <laughs> and they're like okay chase <laughs> I just thought it was really neat um boop boop okay Eros yes should have just typed in actually Eros boom fury storm for extra spells that sounds nice We love it. Young Pyromancer, the young boy. Goblin Dark Dwellers, boom. This is gonna be... You know I like that. Young Peasy is a, I love, little known fact, but well, it's probably little known, it's probably well known, but I didn't know this. This is another Chase's tips and tricks. If I had an editor, it'd be right here in front of you. Um, I didn't know this, but he actually has Chandra on that pendant that he's wearing, which I think is so cool because she's my favorite ever. And I was like, that's the coolest thing ever. A generous gift. Uh, yes. Now I got to go back again. Me going off on tangents. I swear. Punk. Okay. Generous gift. Good card. <laughs> like Helga and Arnold. Oh my gosh. I remember that episode too. Let's see, um, Dawn Charm, that seems fun. I feel like we're building like Feather, but not. Hey, Commander Replay, love it. Is it weird that having my headset like askew is helping my head feel better? I feel like we should have like, in what world is that a sentence? I think we already have brute strength. Just wanted to see if you had any cool tech for Vela yet. Hero Fuppers. <laughs> I'm trying. I didn't have brute strength. Um, what else? I want more of like these like pumper spells. I think that would be really fun to just do like, just like pumper. Wait, hold on. Oh, Chase is having a memory. Uh, uh, is that right? Teamer Battle Rage! Teamer Battle Rage! I had an Oral deck and this card was it for that deck. So good. Love Teamer Battle Rage. Oblation. I know Teamer Battle... Teamer Battle Rage is not a pump spell, but it just feels really good to cast it and slap your opponent for like... 15 instead of like seven that's not double but you know math um oblation okay someone's saying shivan meteor i i don't know what's going on with me tonight i can't even swear. oh <laughs> 13 13 that's oh dang i kind of feel like i want to Let's see, is it chemistry? I feel like that's not in our colors, is it? Oh, it's in our colors. Oh. 
Should we add more pump? At this point, we are way over a hundred. Let's add some lands and then add more of those. Um, okay. I'm so used to Temple of Epiphany. Please don't judge me. It's Temple of Triumph. Um, tore off. Oh my gosh. Um, we need a Vandal Blast. Don't know why I forgot Vandal Blast, but we need Vandal Blast desperately. Love that card. <laughs> Coral. No, it's not on combat damage. That wouldn't work. Wait. Yeah, no, that wouldn't work. I would very much like for it to work. Yeah, I know. The non-combat damage thing is, like, really prevalent in red, and it makes me sad sometimes. Might interest you. All right, let's see. Onward to victory can't spell that's because i did vico instead of victo oh i like that that's cool mangara is good for card draw wherever he is there he is boom See, uh, yeah, Relentless Assault ones. We can't cast them twice, but they can definitely be cut first. Um. Oof, my head is doing some pain. 29 beautiful people. Thank you for being here and being beautiful. Master Warcraft, yes. I'm so glad somebody said that. Um. Mirrorwing Dragon, since we're casting Palm Spells. Let's see, whenever it's over and over, copy the first time. Five with that. Let's see. I'm trying to think with my thoughts. My thoughts are thinking. We need more of those little, like, one mana pumps. Any target to the highest CMC cost. That is a vibe. Um, Defiant Strike. Boop. Yeah, give me more of these little white ones because we have a lot of red ones. don't have feather but I feel like we should we might as well put feather in there she is purify Boop. alrighty I feel like we have a decent balance of things so um yeah, we do muffins. So I think what we're going to do is, um, I do agree about the goggles though. We'll agree with the goggles. Um, let's add our lands. We'll do a rough cut of lands, like extremely, like extremely rough. I think we're going to go high in our lands. So I'm going to say 37, eight. Um, let's see what our curve looks like. Some, it is something I'll tell you that. So let's add some more lands and then we will um, go to cuts and then tweak our lands once we are done with the cuts because our curve is definitely going to change. Um, so if you press lightning bolt, we can just add lands from there. Feather is a completely different deck using the small hunter's cantrips. This commander wants to go big and splashy. Yeah, so we might as well cut the other ones. It was a thought I had for a moment and we can probably definitely tweak it. The curve looks like something. The curve is a curve. So what land should we add? Uh, we have like the basics right now. Sacred Foundry, Temple of Triumph, Battlefield Forge. Yeah. So what are some other lands that we could put in here that you think would be good? I think we have Soul Ring, but if we don't, we do now. Okay. 
Mirrored landscape, good. Okay. When Muffin says he's not kidding, we gotta do the ancient tomb, even though that price hurts. We love a myriad landscape here. Um, boom. Sun home. Fortress of the Legion, I'm assuming? Yep, correct. What's the pathway? I don't remember the pathway. Oh yeah, war room is good. Bonders, enclave. Oh, one, one land at a time. Um, Nikogoro. Let's do cliff top retreat. Let's see needle verge. Or is that the same thing? Okay, cool. That's not the same thing. Yay, didn't mess up. Um, spectator seating. Good one. Bop. Oh, I didn't click it. Boop. There we go. Um, crystal veins. Come on. There it is. Uh... I'm gonna make glacier instead. Um, Axe Guard Armory. We can do equipment, yeah. Um, sandstone, needle. Okay, we do, I don't want us to lean too heavily on non-basics um, because that can really hurt us. I'm a strong, like, supporter of basic lands. So, let's see. Let's see. I'm going to go through these one by one and kind of read them. Yeah, that's five. No. Fully Russian floor of Mount Velox Scripter gets it. Also, I'm sorry if I peeked in my mic. I am really leaning close to it while I'm reading these. Um, love that. Do we bring any I don't know about this one. I like the Miko Crow. Oh, I forgot Guy Reach. Guy Reach Sanitarium. I love the land. Awesome. Let's see. On Arena, Bob Ross Basics, IRL, whatever left in my basic land box. No matter that you can run eight colorless lands safely in two color. <laughs> Crab, I see you redeemed to take a sip reward. I will take a sip. Mmm. Out of my favorite cup ever, which is my Haunted Mansion cup. Alright, let's see. I am going... Let's get Mountain. We'll get Plain. Z. Okay. Our 20 lands. Let's see where our pips lie. We're higher in white than I expected us to be. All right, I see you guys. I'm going to I'm going to make a controversial uh choice here. Um with my basics. So, don't mind me as I choose my favorite which are the squirrel lands from Unsanctioned. That is not a joke. I love the squirrel lands from Unsanctioned. They bring me such joy. I'm not even kidding. Um I'm so sorry. I just love them. Look at them, Ugh, squirrels. Okay, so we'll definitely go higher. I don't think we'll go like eight. We'll do like seven more. Then we'll go like six more. Four more. We'll do one, two. Sorry, you guys. I know this is boring. 
the lands part is boring anyway. Um, okay, we're at 37. Um, do you have Homeward Path? What we do now? But have we considered the dog jumpstart planes? Okay, listen. Those, when I say they're stunning, so I love it. I love the white dog. I love the joyful glee in his eyes. I actually tried to get, I have two monitors. I tried to get like a, I hit my microphone, a panorama going with the, um, with that particular land, but I couldn't find a high resolution enough image to make it both. And I was so mad. So now I just have a blurry picture of Chandra <laughs> on my monitor. I need a better picture. Um, I know favorite ba uh, planes art, and I don't know why. Oh, Mirapool is a great land for extra spells. Uh, what? What's that? Mirror popo. <laughs> that is not. That is not words, Chase. That's the colorless one, right? Yeah, we can do that, and we can remove like. Yeah, we have 70 cuts, essentially. I'm just gonna remove like a mountain, wherever my mountains went. Boop, mountain gone. <laughs> uh, but do we have ramp? We are in Boros, so we are gonna be trying our best. Alrighty guys, we are now at the portion known as cuts. I realized why my screen is looking a little bit weird is that I actually zoomed out of it, so let me... There we go, that looks better. Yeah, usually we're at two on each side. And of course, our lands are not set in stone. Those are the last things that we need to edit. I just like to get a basic formation of lands just so we can kind of figure out what we're doing. Um, and that it will definitely change. That curve will definitely change. Um, I do wanna show you guys something really quickly though since we were discussing lands. Um, let me show you one of my favorite lands I own. Um, which is a basic um, and I just wanted to show it to you because I don't get the opportunity to show it off too much even though I literally stream paper commander content so frequently um, but he doesn't come out as much as I would like to so let me tell you about this land right here so I pulled this I'm gonna take it out of the sleeve because the sleeve is green I pulled this this is a jumpstart devil mountain alrighty the jumpstart devil mountain and you're like, why? It's just the Devil Mountain. You know, there's nothing really cool about it. My entire Devil Pack was misprinted. How is it misprinted, Chase? It looks fine. Well, let me show you. If I turn the card around, the card back is printed upside down. So, you can see it says magic right there. Has the symbols and the line. And if I just go whoop, 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 whoop. And there it is. And I pulled it. And it is the only card I kept out of that entire pack. I sold the rest of the pack on a misprint page because somebody was like, you should sell it. And I was like, cool. But I wanted to keep this because I really like this. Um, and yeah, I have a little, it says Wagic. It does look like it says Wagic. <laughs> Wagic to gather wing. <laughs> yeah. So I just thought that was really cool. So anyways, let's go to cuts. Um, since our focus is instants and sorceries, I say we cut on those last and instead look at our artifacts and enchantments and creatures first. Um, so let's start with enchantments because we're at the bottom and we only have nine. Shiraz, hello! Wajik is why we are here today. <laughs> Taking a sip from Mystic Chaos. <coughs> Lordy. Okay. I promise it's Diet Coke in here. It's Diet Coke. I just, the bubbles hurt. Okay. Let's start with Underworld Breach. I don't like this card. I know you guys like it. I just don't know why I don't like it. What's like some Boral Dragon? Breach and Aria Flame are for a different kind of deck in my opinion. I've just never, I, I feel like Breach is more like standard. I know that sounds weird. Okay. This is where we get to do my favorite thing ever, which is give Chase an excuse to use the, um, the, the vote button. Chase loves the vote button. I love the vote button. Chase is me, by the way. Um, 
already creator dashboard. Sorry, I gotta do some cool sick stuff on the creator dashboard. Uh, like make a new poll. Um, so let's see, uh, Underworld Breach. like you're right but it makes me sad okay i'm sad but okay it's just it, it just feels like we need it okay so let's see i'm gonna make a poll a minute long just because i feel like aria of flame and underworld breach would be good in here i'm just not a fan of the underworld card personally but i'm gonna put those in here the poll is running for exactly one minute so enter while you can um Underworld Breach Cutter Keep Vote Up Above. I just like to use this because sometimes in chat I like to do the one and two system, but then I move along a little bit too quickly and we end up like I might miscalculate votes and I really want to try and be as you know, true to this as possible because this is a collaborative experience and I think it's really fun that we have a deck that we are all proud of and represents us. So, Also, can you guys, while the vote is happening, can you hear the music? Because ever since you told me you couldn't hear the music, I have felt nothing but shame. And I've tried to make the music louder, but not overpoweringly so. So tell me if you can hear the music. Yay. Okay, cool. Uh, we can hear the music. We're partying right now. Air smart. Yeah, prefer it at this volume. Good. As long as it's quiet enough, then we're good. Yeah, I don't want it to hurt my head. I can kind of hear it in the background. Good. I don't want it to be too loud. Okay, so we are definitely going to be cutting Underworld Breach. Now let's move on to Aria Flame. I have always really liked Aria Flame. Uh, I'm going to again do another poll. Um, like, we won't be doing this for every single card because that will be tiresome, but these are two cards that I feel like we, we should probably use them for. It's not my pet card. I haven't used my veto yet. By the way, if uh, to the lovely 31 beautiful people watching, I'm allowed one veto per stream. That means no matter what chat says, I am allowed to, um, whoa, there we go. I'm allowed to cut it or keep it. It's like my one, like my one, my one, my one unoverthrown choice, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, I like the six and we will force her hand on that veto. You guys are being strategic about it. Killing me here with the strategy. Okay, we're actually, keep is kind of rising a little bit. Of course, as is the traditions. You guys are killing me. Okay, it seems like we are cutting Aria Flame. Rest in peace, Aria of Flame. It was a close one. I think we're already going to say we're going to cut the Scourge, but maybe I'm wrong. What do you guys think? I'm going to put my headset back on for a second. Nope, hurts my head. We're not doing that. Oh, everyone is saying cut. Everyone is voting cut. Ready. Crucible of Fire. I feel like this is a cut, but who knows? I could be extremely wrong. Yep. <laughs> The Lux Scripter was like, mm -mm. <laughs> cut, 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 cut. Let's do it, you guys. Let's remove it. I love the art in there, though. We need a smothering tithe. Um, thoughts on double vision. I actually really like double vision in here. Uh, are you planning to cast spells above my CMC? We have some in here, but we might not necessarily keep them. It just depends. Um, I kind of like it. Keep cool. Okay. Fire Emancipation. I feel like I know what y'all are going to say. Thoughts on Fire Emancipation. Oh, you guys are saying keep. Oh, I was expecting you guys to say, whoa, overwhelming keeps. Cut the fiery unpopular opinion. Oh, Velox Scripture, you're breaking my heart. I love this card. Can't review until we see the spells. Okay, fair. So what we can do is we can um, get a keep. You want your tools? So we can keep it here and we can move on and see if it goes through the next round of cuts or I can move it to considering. Um, would you guys prefer for me to put it into considering or actually have it stay in and we can look at it later? Um, give me your thoughts on that and then we will slide up. 
Okay. Lots of stays. Okay. And we'll look at it. We'll look at it later. You know, nothing is, nothing is off limits except my one veto, <laughs> which I, ha I haven't used it yet. Okay. Let's go to artifacts. So let's start at the bottom and go our way up. Let's start with Tome of the Guild Pact. We must do spells first is the fundamental of the deck. Mystic Chaos, I actually like to do our fundamentals last because it forces us to be very choosy with these spells that may not, it's kind of like trimming the fat. Like we may not necessarily need them, you know, but we need instants and sorceries to thrive and we need a high number of those. So I like to do those last. A lot of cuts on the tome. Pyromancer's Goggles. I have this in my Chandra Tribal deck. This card is a powerhouse. It is a delicious keep. This with repeated reverberation, I love it. Lots of keeps, love it. Primal Amulet. Alrighty. So this was recommended earlier. I keep forgetting this card exists and I don't know why. Also, I love that the non-foil is more expensive than the foil. That makes me laugh a little bit. Um, keep the amulet, keep the amulet, keep the amulet. We love a good amulet. Okay. Helm of the Host. This card makes me feel so many happy things. I love Helm of the Host. Um, my issue with this is that every time I try to put it into a deck, you guys make a very good point. It's not a bad point. I'm going to say it right now. You guys tell me, well, if you're only going to attach it to the commander, then there's not really a use for it. And you're, we're, we're definitely not, you know, a Godo deck. We're not. And so my, my, my thing is, my intent is to literally only put it on Velomachus. But um, what are your thoughts? Now that I have uh, revealed to you my evil plan, are we going to be doing uh, Helm of the Host with Velomachus? I always get punished for playing it, but it's so good. Um, yeah, Muffins, you're right. It just gets like multiple triggers off of it, which we like. I kind of want multiple or well, you know what? We're... You guys are really kind of agreeing with me and I love this. So we're just gonna, just gonna slide onto Whisper Silk. <laughs> we vote keep, let's keep it. Whisper Silk Cloak, unblockable and has shroud. So this actually really conflicts with that thing I tried to do later on down the deck building process which is to make this more of a feather deck I think actually we should back away from that um but we do want to protect our commander because our commander is seven mana that's not a cheap commander I have a locust god deck that's six mana and if he dies multiple times it hurts um all right lots of keeps one two three keeps oh one med two cuts Okay, I'll add it to considering because it's so divisive. Okay, we're having a lot of differing opinions, which means it's time for me to whip out the poll. I promise you, we don't do a lot of polls here, but I'm really trying to get into the habit of it to help because it's like such a, like a cut and done, is that a phrase? Cut and done, I think it's a phrase. I swear I can't type to save my life. Poll has been activated. Cut and dry. I think so. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Okay, let's see. 32 beautiful people. Thank you for being here. Woo! Cut and dry one and done. I just, I don't know. I feel like I'm getting my words confused. Cut one and dry done. Mm. I should make it known I don't vote in these polls. I, I leave it completely up to chat. Completely up to chat. Measure twice, cut one. <laughs> I think it might be worth the trade off too. And we are now coming down to the final couple seconds of our poll. And it seems like we're keeping. Cool. Let's move on to Sun Forger. Now, this is something that before the stream even started, the lovely folks in chat were converging and saying, if Chase doesn't run Sun Forger in this deck, I don't know what will make her. And that's a fair statement. Sun Forger fits really good in this deck, fits very well. Um, we can do a lot with Sun, For Sun Forger. I keep forgetting that it's four or less. 
Sunforge is just really good. And Crabs is saying cut it. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. Talisman of Convention. We need that mana ramp. We need that mana ramp. And I really like tal I really like the talismans. I have grown to love the talismans in Commander over the Signets. But we need both, so I think we should keep them. Okay. Boots. Pain is power. I love that. Talisman is fine here. We got Swift Foot Boots that hex proof and haste. We do already have haste on our commander, so it will be double. Boots versus Greaves. That is the uh Chase, are you gonna want more multi-ramp on account of Bella being seven? We're definitely gonna need more forms of ramp. I just am unaware of Boros stuff. I'm really bad at, at Boros. I'm gonna need your help a lot. Keep our footwear. We'll keep it for now. Scroll rack. Exile any number of cards from your hand face down and put that many cards on the top of your library into your hand, then look at the exile cards and then put them on top of your library in any order. <laughs> What are your thoughts on Scroll Rat? Let's see. Oof, my head is. Draw is difficult in Boros Keep. Draw is so hard in Boros. I also think it's good to set us up. A lot of a lot of agrees on the Scroll Rack, so we're gonna keep that. Next, we move to Rune Chanter's Pike. I feel like this is a Pike Dream. You get it? Um, I feel like this would be really cool. But I don't know if it'll work. could joke a little <laughs> um i'm saying keep only because we're so focused on spells all right crab coming in with the cuts cut the pike from me on average by three does our commander trample no for some reason i thought she did um, should we put that in considering? Poll. Crivis says poll. Okay, we'll do a poll on the pike. I know we had like some mix. There's a lot of mixtures in here. Ooh. Okay, you can't be mad at me, chat. We're not really leaning into Voltron, but it helps us to cast some of the bigger things in our deck. Like, we're not we're not married to Voltron. We're just kind of like looking at it a bit. Um, I think it'd be a cute sub theme. And now that I realize I just said cute, uh, I'm nervous <laughs> because I like cute things. We're flirting with Voltron. <laughs> the mixture of opinions doesn't make this stream so awesome. I literally wrote a whole article about how much I love collaborative deck building because you guys opened my mind up to differing opinions and cards that I never would even look at. Like, I guarantee you, I probably would not have touched, um, Belmachus at all if you guys haven't, like, put me there. We're taking Voltron out on a few dates. We can see other people. <laughs> oh my gosh. Y'all kill me, I swear. You, I, I'm pretty sure I have the best chat ever. I do have the best chat ever. I don't have any new... Okay, that's a lie. That's <laughs> that's a lie. I do have some new Squishmallows, courtesy of, if you don't know... Um, oh, we got a key. Courtesy of Commander Mechanic, Chris. If you don't know Chris, definitely check out Chris's work. Chris is wonderful. Makes some really good content and um, has some really cool like budget builds. Um, but he lives in Canada and was really sweet enough to send me some Canada exclusives. And if you guys want, I'll show those to you at the end of the stream. Right now we got Ronnie and Mary just chilling out in the back. Um, totally not covering up my desk at all. You know, just vibe in here. Um, you mean my commander mechanic. Alrighty, uh, let's look at the medallions. I think we should keep them. It's not ramp, it's reduction, but I think we need the reduction. Just a little bit. I think it helps. I know I'm just pointing out when a lot of conversation came out and I was wondering where I said their archetypes agree. Cost reduction is powerful keep. I agree. Ruby is awesome keep. Love it. The commander is... The command, our commander's beefy. We gotta be... I, 
I, I love the people who edit my articles because I think they've never seen the word big beefy beaters written out so many times. Mystic Chaos says I would cut the medallion for a mana rock. The cost reduction is specific and I don't see us casting multi spells a turn. That's fair. Um, let's see. I feel like we should. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. We definitely have to cut the hammer. I know Hermit Druid recommended it, but we might have to cut it. I went to the toilet and came back to the words big beefy beaters. So what are we talking about? We're just talking about like, 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 just like big fighters, like just like huge tokens or huge creatures, green stuff. Big beefy beaters. Um, we could cut the pearl, keep the ruby, and add another rock. Big beefy beaters. It's my new band name. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are big beefy beaters, and we. I'm not saying what came to my head. I am not saying that. I'm not saying that. Um. Currently, with all these, we're at 14. Thran Dynamo would be a good... The Clue Stone. Oh, no to the Clue Stone. I need to, I need to figure out how to set the settings to mature, because that curse on here. Um, so, it, I don't know how to do that. Um, let's see. Dynamo would help us get to Velo sooner. I prefer Hadron Archive on this deck. It produces two mana instead of one mana. It could be cracked for two cards. I kind of like Thran Dynamo better. Sure, you could ask Jim or Olivia. I, every time I raid a stream, it's like, it's for mature audiences. And I'm like, how do I make my stream say that? Because I don't know. Okay. <clears throat> we'll do a Thran Dynamo. I like Thran Dynamo. Oh, my head hurts. There it is. Look at it. Now that's a big beefy beater. <laughs> um, Hedron and Hedron instead of them. I like the medallions. But I think you might be right actually on this one. It, it, I don't, I don't like the archive. Listen, when I say mature, I, I like to curse. I, 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 always tend to swear a lot on my streams um our commander costs seven <laughs> okay fine maybe mindstone actually Hidden archive is interesting if we cast on curve it lets us immediately play the commander the following turn with the land drop maybe no archive maybe i don't know you want all the big rocks for this deck. We do have an arcane signet. The same could be said about most rocks, though. That's also fair. I play a lot of Boros. Multi ramp is gonna be super important. I don't play a lot of Boros. Um, you're good, crab. It's like right up here. Um, how about I just add a mind stone? And we'll leave it at this for now and we can look back at it later i really like mindstone um also gotta say i've been searching for the amazing um print that i never knew existed um this bad boy here look at how gorgeous that is look i love that art for mindstone I, we'll leave it at this for now, and then we can like go back and tweak a little bit later. Um, uh, lovely 38 friends, thank you for being here. I've never seen that before, and I think I love it. I love it, too. I've seen... Okay. I've seen Gavin. Gavin is the only one I've seen who owns this card. Now, I'm not saying it doesn't exist. <laughs> I wish... I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna buy it on TCG Player, if I'm being honest. Send Noodles 13 hello? Okay. So now let's go to creatures and then we'll touch instants and sorceries later. I just like to leave the main chunk of the deck for last. That's just how I do it. Um, we don't have any planeswalkers this time around, which I thought was really interesting. But, you know, that's kind of the vibe we're going off of. So let's look at these big, uh, these big beefy beaters down at the bottom and see what we're going to cut. Let's start with Bedlam Reveler.
Oh, my head is killing me. Do we have 29? That's a lot. I feel like for this deck, it's a lot. Let's see. I love Bedlam Reveler, Mana, not really in Commander. That's fair. Um, one cut, two cuts. Okay, I, I don't know if I said this earlier, but don't be mad at me. I forgot to eat dinner before the stream. So don't be angry with me. Sorry about that. Hi. <laughs> My head hurts. I'm sorry. I had to have a moment of just like a, a temple rub. Um, I see a lot of people shouting my name. What happened? Did I do something? Did I do something? Okay, we'll cut Bedlam. Oh, not eat. Yeah. I was like, what'd I do? Um, okay. Sorry about that. I just had like, you know, like when you like, you have a really bad headache and you have like a moment of just like, you know, gotta like take a step back. I actually have a fan on underneath my desk, which is literally saving my life right now. Um, okay. Gisela, Blade of Gold Knight. I love Gisela. I think this would be here because it protects. I can't speak tonight. Yeah, I'm sorry if I have a headache too. Normally my stream started at 6, but I actually delayed it um, by 30 minutes because I needed it. I think she's getting here because she literally helps us. Alright, Scourge of the Throne. Whenever it attacks for the first time each turn, if it's attacking the player with the most life, attacks with the most life, we have an additional combat phase. We got a cut, keep, okay, I know somebody said that there was issues with the combat faces, but I don't understand. Um, Poison Akko, we're gonna limit ad more additions to the deck later, because we still have a lot to go. I heard that there were some issues when it comes to extra combat. Okay, so we have some likes. We'll keep it for now. And we can keep on going later. Three of the five extra combat spells must be cast during main phase, which fellow doesn't do, so they don't work right. Okay. There's a problem with some of the instant and sorcery combat spells that only do things on main phase. Okay. So let's go with Morag. I think we should keep Morag in here. I like Itali in here too. I really like Itali. Let's scroll up a bit. I like Itali, we like Morag. What about Aurelia? I really, really, really like Aurelia. Can we change your art to the guild art? I do like the guild art actually a lot. Yoop. Look at how pretty. For your coast for scry seven yeah all right uh charm breaker devils we have your upkeep you return an insta sorcery card from me i really think we should keep charm breaker i know that cmc is just but i think we need it Ooh. 
I really like the charm breaker in here. Try to keep, I don't like charm breaker doubles. Charm breaker I kind of want to cut. It fits the deck, but we have a lot of high drops. Yeah, if we cut, we make it be like 101 or 102. Okay, we'll cut it. Port Razor. <sighs> Alrighty, crab, keep that in mind and then we'll add it later. Oh, whoa. He of the host on Port Razor gives infinite combat. Doesn't it? Oh, shoot. I like that. I feel like I'm going to cut uh, Mirror Wing. It doesn't really fit. And I feel like we shouldn't add the gold span. I think we should cut gold span. Yeah, cut mirroring. Mirroring's cute, but it's safe to cut. Yeah, uh, gold span. I think we should cut gold span too. We only have that one other thing that gives us uh, treasures, and that's like a very few and far between chance, you know? <sighs> I left when Chase did to get ready for bed. Hi, Monkey Master Zeb. Yeah, we don't target much. Yeah, let's cut the gold span. No the goblin dark dwellers. ETBs may cast instant sorcery with CMC three or less. I actually don't like this. I think we should also cut the dark dwellers. This is when we were originally toying with the concept of like doing um that feather thing. Yeah, here's here's the storm killing artist, whom I like. Thoughts on the killing artist? I'm I'm not really feeling them anymore. I think we can keep it for ramp. All right, I um am going to do a poll for him, just because I feel like. He could be really good for ramp. And the poll has been launched. 35 lovely people. It is so wonderful to see you guys here. Seriously, thank you for being here. When I first started this deck building stream, I was worried nobody would want to see it. So I'm really happy that you guys are here and enjoying this. Oof, I'm gonna take my headset off for 10 seconds just to scratch my head. Ugh. Oof. Just gotta give the scalp a massage. There we go. We'll do that behind the ear. Because it helps my head. I think we could also cut Balefire League. Whew. This is one of my favorite streams, fam, but be sure to take care of yourself as well. I know, but the past couple times I've, I've taken quite a few. Ooh, that was close. I've taken quite a few streams off for my head. Um, it just acts up on my days off, and I don't know why. Radiant Scroll Wielder. And then last week's Edgar is solved and done. This is new unique deck design. Mystic Chaos, I kid you not. I was, I, last week's deck brew was partially because I was excited about uh, Crimson Vow, but also because I was like stalling for time. I'm like, I really want cool new stuff to come out and nothing's come out yet. Um, Muffins on a Hill, not many. Not many. I feel like we should cut it. I feel like that would be Radiant Scroll Wielder would be good in like a Fire Song and Sun Speaker deck just because of the redundant redundancy is always good. I really vibe with redundancy. Um, we don't off the top of my head. I know we just don't have that many, like deals damage spells. Uh, 
Um, we can wait though. Mangara, good for card draw. Velox, I'll take a peek at um, Combat Celebrant once we get to... Is there, is there a reason why we don't want Port Razor? Let's see. I like Mangara, if we're being honest. Creatures, F2 is an additional combat phase. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Okay. I see what I see what's being said. Alrighty. That is a fair point. And I think he's cheaper in mana cost. Yeah, he's cheaper in mana cost too. That lowers our curve. Okay. Um, let's talk about Eros. Bye, Krabs. You have a good night. Have a good evening. Stay safe. I love Eros. He gives Menace. Eros is so good. Eros is so good. What are your thoughts on Eros? Menace to an already evasive commander and saves attackers. I love Eros, but the creature count may drop. Okay, we'll keep Eros for now. Okay, let's so you can attack blindly without punishment. And I love attacking blindly. A freight flame painter. First of all, stunning art. I love this art. A uh, double strike. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you may cast target insert sorcery card from your graveyard without paying its cost. I thought this was a nice addition here, but what are your thoughts? It's gonna be so pretty in a foil. I love red cards and foils because they just look so stunning. Uh, it is going to look amazing in foil. <laughs> All righty, you guys. What are the feels? We have some mixed feelings about it. So let's. Okay. People are saying keep now, cut later. So we'll do that. Yeah, that's fair. Um, we'll keep for now, cut later. Bruce Tarl. Um, we're not exactly super focused on, like, combat steps, <sighs> but I do like Bruce Tarl in here. Also, I'm now holding my head <laughs> to see if it'll help the pain. Uh, thoughts on Bruce Tarl? Yeah, I think he'd be fun in here, but I don't think he's a keep necessarily. Okay, a lot of people are saying no. Alrighty. Bye, Bruce. Okay. Um, I added this in here. Just kind of a spur of the moment. It felt right in the moment. That might be wrong now. Thoughts on Blade Historian? Not for this deck. Yeah. Alrighty. Cutting. Oh, I'm so sorry. I like Monastery Mentor in here a lot because we're going to be doing a lot of non-creature spells, which will give us some tokens, and I think we need that little extra pump of creatures. And then we have, uh, yeah, I'm kind of actually kind of thinking agree on the is it chemistry. I like Gutter Snipe a lot. I wonder if it'd be really good without token support, it could be rough. I agree, but I think of them as like blockers. Love Gutter Snipe. Uh, Grinning Ignis. 
I don't think we need it. Do we? Yeah, let's get rid of him. We're not doing Storm here. We already know that we're gonna cut Feather. Feather. I feel like we should cut Feather, but maybe I'm wrong on that. What should we do about Feather? Yep. Chat is unanimous. Okay, Combat Serpent, we just added that in there. Boros Reckoner. <laughs> part of me wants to do this, and the other part of me is like, no. I don't know why, but I'm not really vibed with the Boros Reckoner. <sighs> we don't really have that much damage do words, you know? Alrighty. I'm so sorry, you guys. I know it's mixed reviews. We're cutting it. Boom. I don't think we need Bergy, so I think we should remove Bergy. But again, I'm gonna wait for opinions. Bergy. I think we should cut Bergy. Okay. Alrighty. Young Pyromancer gives us tokens. I like that. Um, I don't think we need the hero because we don't have that many multicolored. And we have Giver of Runes. We gotta keep Young Peasy. Already, and then give her of ruins, runes, not ruins. Alrighty, let's see. So more protection is good. Alrighty, guys. So before we um, before we go to our instance and sorceries, I'm gonna put us on and be right back, and I'll be back in just a couple of minutes. So we will be right back, you guys. Talk amongst yourself in chat and think what we should do next.
Hello, I have returned. Hi. <laughs> Sorry about that, you guys. Let's see. I see that you guys are lovingly chatting amongst yourselves. So uh, let's see what we can uh, do here in our final uh, modes, I suppose. Okay. Now we go to sorceries and instants. We have 47 cards left to cut and we have 35. Don't, don't laugh at me. 35 plus 39. 74. So we have a lot to cut. So we said cut all the pump spells. So let me go through here and just quickly cut all the pump spells before we do anything else. This will take me a moment. Hold on. Okay. Brute force, divine strike, infuriate, remove. We're getting there. I'm sorry. Almost there. Okay. Got a lot of spells, but five save save of the with the removal of most pump. Yeah, I think if our goal is to make our commander bigger, we want more permanent effects. Fair. So we have thirty nine cards left to cut, which is not bad at all. So let's start at our sorceries. First off, we have Vandal Blast. I think that's just a necessity we need in general. I like Vandal Blast. I love it. It's a good uh, way to get rid of some nasty artifact decks, which seem to be plaguing a lot of commander recently. Are right, we going at the high cost ones then? Ow. Okay, we all know that Blasphemous Act is never going to be nine mana, so we'll take that with a grain of salt. Um, yeah, we can't overload, but let's talk about Soulfire Eruption. This card really killed me, but I don't know if we necessarily need it in this deck. I just, I love it. I don't know if we need it. I've never seen a Beact hard cast. I've casted for like three mana once before, but never anymore. It says, um, let me roll it over for you guys so you can read it. Choose any number of target creatures, uh, planeswalkers, and or players for each of them. Exit the top card of your library, then Soulfire Eruption deals damage equal to that card's uh, CMC to that permanent or player, and you may play the exile card until the end of your next turn. Hey, Big Maz! Cast B Act, one mana with repercussions out, felt nice. <laughs> Y'all are something else. Yeah, I agree. I'm sad to say it because I really like this card, but we don't need it in here. Let's see, a uh, volcanic vision. Return target instant or source of card from your graveyard to your hand. It deals damage to that card's CMC equal to to each creature your opponent's control. Same with vision. I'm gonna say cut vision. Okay, we're cutting vision. Profound journey. Return target permanent card from the battlefield to your graveyard. Rebound. We don't have. We have some. Um, yeah, I, I I like it, but I feel bad about it. Alrighty, a Mary's call. I'm so sad to say I'm gonna cut it. Yeah. Brass is bounty. Keep the bounty, keep the bounty, keep the bounty. Okay, we're gonna keep the bounty. Um, whoever said approach to the second sun, I actually really like this in here. Now, it'll be a little bit difficult to catch up with Velomachus. I still really like this. 
I really like approach in here. It's a good wing con. It gains us life. And we can kind of, you know, you know, back burner. I really like it. It could be gas, exactly. All right, then we have Razia's, Razia's Purification. Each player chooses three permanents here. She controls and sacks the rest. It is at six mana, so this is just above our threshold for Velamachus. I still think this is pretty fun. That's a little harsh browns for me, man. Oh my god. <laughs> I love it. Great way to win the game. Hold on, I'm getting some mixed signals in chat. Hmm. That's true. Simon POV, thank you for the follow, friend. So is this a no? I feel like this is a no. Oh, I, I did it prematurely. I'm so sorry. I, I, I did it prematurely. That actually scared me. I'm so sorry. Um, it does wreck lands, which is why I'm so nervous about it. Alrighty. Let's see. Immolating Gyre. So it deals X damage to each creature and planeswalker you don't control. Rex is the number of instants and sorcery cards in your graveyard. I like this. I like this. Oh, my head is hurting. One-sided sweepers or boss. One-sided board wipe sounds good to me, just above the threshold, but it is what we want very well. I really like this. I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna keep this for now. I think it's neat. Um, let's talk about Hazardous and Dying Fury. Shuffle your library, then exit the top four cards. You may cast any number of non-land cards with CMC five or less from amongst without paying their mana cost. Lands you control don't untap during your next untap step. I also like Hazardous and Dying Fury. Oof. Head is still hurting. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I really do like Hazardous. Glory of Warfare. It's risky but fun. This whole deck is risky. Let's see. Okay, we'll cut it. Okay. The deck is an epitome of an elaborate flip coin. That is very true. That's why I think I'm gonna be here for it. <laughs> I really like these kinds of decks. Like the free spell stuff is just fun for me. So now we have World at War, which is a huge block of text that says, at the first post combat main phase there, this turn, there is an additional combat phase followed by an additional main phase. At the beginning of that combat, untap all creatures that attacked this turn. So. So people are saying that this is the one that does work with Velomachus. Okay. Got a lot of yeses in chat. Got a lot of love for this. We're keeping it. So we're keeping this. Cool. Um, waves of aggression. Untap all creatures that attack this turn. After this main phase, there's additional combat phase, followed by additional main phase. Wait, 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 hold on. I am confused now. So now we're having people in chat saying waves doesn't work with Velo. How? I'm actually confused now. Mm. 
Okay, waves have to be cast during main phase. Waves stay set after the main phase the next year. Then you need to cast on main phase. Oh, uh, okay, hold on. But if you just hard cast six, give it a good time. Because we're casting inside of our main phase, it doesn't work. And then you retrace it after this main phase cannot be cast or combat. Okay. So World of War works, waves does not. Because this says after this main phase, but World of War says after the post-combat main phase. So we don't need waves of aggression. Okay, so now that we have that differentiated, should we still run waves? Because it has retrace, and all of you are really vibing with retrace here. So it, despite the fact that we can't hit it with Velmachus, should we still do it? I'm having a yes in chat. Uh, yes in chat again. We're getting a lot of votes in chat. It doesn't hit, but it's still a keeper. Okay, so, okay. So, um, future chase. This is the point where you're going to remember this for your article. Because if you get it wrong, it's gonna suck. Okay. That's my little mental note. Um, for myself. What's the timestamp? We're at a minute, 50, an hour 53, a minute 53. I have a whole desk and no pens. An hour 53. We can wait. Write a physical note. I don't have a pen. A whole, a phone note. Oh my gosh. You guys are smart. Put a sticky and says, Dear Future Chase, please remember waves, no. World, yes. That's actually physically what I'm going to write. I think that's probably good. Waves, no. World, yes, because main phase. Cool. We did it. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So we'll still keep it. Let's talk about Volcanic Torrent. Cascade. As I like to say, Cascade. Um, I'm really excited for this article. I'm very ner I get nervous every time I write uh, for these pieces. I always get so nervous. I'm like, this is going to be bad. Does X damage each opponent creature works the number of spells you've cast this turn? This feels... <sighs> Cascade. Cascade makes it a yes. I always get nervous because this feels like it's a storm thing. But, yeah, but it would only be for, it would only be for two unless we're like, you know... Cause every time we touch, I get this feeling. <laughs> you remember that? Yeah, I would agree with uh, the Scripter. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. Please don't be mad at me, friends. But we're just gonna <clears throat> cut it. I'm sorry. I don't want to get copyright striked when I put this up on YouTube. Um. Tragic Arrogance. A spear thrown by Kytheon's own hand was a weapon. Aww. Let's see, for each player you choose from among the permanents. I love this card. It's so fun to watch your friends watch the world crumble before them as you go. You just played that, uh, that Ulamog. It'd be a shame if you lost it forever you know i think that's just really funny okay um torment torrent of fire torrent of fire deals damage equal to the highest cmc among permanents you control to target creature or player <laughs> five mana for seven damage doesn't seem bad Oh, it says any target now? Oh, we love it when the cards get errated. Okay. So, five mana for seven damage. What are your thoughts? Five mana or free to deal seven. That feels pretty decent, I'd say. The Planeswalker Killer. Not worth it to me. Okay. Hmm... Now, we do have Fiery Emancipation, but that's only one card. All right, I'm going to break out the pole. And while I'm typing, I'm 
feeling like I should get Indian food tonight, but I don't know if I'm going to make it in time. Well, my words are in caps. I'm sorry. I'm not going to order food now because that means I'm going to have to rush the stream and I'm not rushing the stream. I think they close at 10. Hold on. Should we get a poll for Indian food? Oh my Okay, you're making me even hungrier than I am. Um, if I'm getting my Indian food, I'm getting feud, feud. Um, I would be getting my um, chicken tikka masala with some puri, which is some delicious bread. And I like to take it. And I like to just like sop it up and then eat it and then pour my masala all over, all over rice. It's just so good. I love it. I, I've tried their butter chicken, but I really like the chicken tikka better. I don't know why. They also have this very good, like, vegetable appetizer. But I feel like that would be too much food for me, even though I've ordered it with my meal before. But I don't know. I want heat. I can't handle heat. <laughs> Alright, we're cutting it. I forgot what we were doing because we were talking about food. Okay, slash the ranks. This is funny. <laughs> I like this card. It's a funny sweeper. <laughs> Alright, we got a lot of keeps. Single combat. I like this card. I just think it's good. I think this is a good card. It's the same as Tragic Arrogance, but not really, but kind of. Keep, keep, keep support clear. Alrighty. We need to talk. We need to have a conversation about why this was put in here. <laughs> why was Shivan Meteor put in here? It's to one creature. It's not even to player. If it was to player, I would say yes. <laughs> oh my god. If it was to player, I would in a heartbeat. Okay. Reforge the soul. Good way to build our hand up. Get our hand up. So we got Immolating, Arrogance, Slash the Ranks, and Single Combat, and Sweepers. We have some pretty good Sweepers. Thoughts on Reforge the Soul? Because I feel like we could do, like, um... We could do, like, a Winds of Change. Um, or, uh... Wheel of Fortune. The price, though. Um... I know we don't like giving player other players cards, but sometimes we really we're in Boros. We really need that card draw help. We forge with heartwarming reunion. That's the one where we that's like tormenting voice, right? That's in all caps, don't judge me. Oh, you mean redemption? Getting in plus one. I like that better. I kind of like that better. You know what? Yeah, I like that. I actually, I, I like, I, I like that trade. I feel like that that is a good trade. I'm sorry. I'm really all I'm thinking about right now is that Indian food. Oh, it's like every Tuesday I get it now. It's like a thing. Um. With how Reforge works with Tide, Greedy Draws, and Life Gain. I'd switch them, though I like how Reforge works with Tide. Yeah. Mm. Alrighty, um. Purify. Okay, I had to check. I thought that said Purity. Purify. Why eat food when you have cardboard? 
Um, I had a really busy day, actually. Otherwise, I would have totally eaten before the stream. I'm a no one purified too. Yeah, I, I kind of want to say no to this. Yeah. Boop. Mana Geyser. I love Mana Geyser. I think we should keep this. Yeah. Okay. A uh, fortunate few. Is that a Stephanie in chat I see? Spamming my cool Wallace emote. Whom I love, by the way. Wallace is probably the coolest emote that I commissioned. And thank you for the sub, Steph. I do love my Wallace emote. He was a spur of the moment. I'm going to make him into an emote because of the little snafu I said and then I was like, yeah, we're keeping him. Yeah, I think we should cut fortune if you. Plus we have so many sweepers. Boop. Evangelize. Mm. Part of me wants to see what could happen. Part of me wants to see what could happen. Is this like a perfect card? Oh, it's of opponent's choice. Is that Chris, our commander mechanic? Yeah. Evangelize. Then we have Epicenter, which I think is the funniest thing. Um. I say we keep epicenter. That is a chase that's cool. Epicenter is funny. Maybe a bit too harsh. <laughs> I I run ruination. Ugh. <laughs> so I might use the V. Oh, damn. I... My music stopped. I think because my music knew how grave the situation was. Okay. Music? Are you going to... You're supposed to bring balance up a center is an expensive card. What does it cost? Your friends. <laughs> okay. What I'm going to do is this. I'm going to put it into considering. Okay. Considering. And then I'll go to the end and we'll see. Because we still have instance. So hit my microphone. We might have. I mean, who knows? You know? So um, let's just keep going and then we'll go to considering at the end. And we'll see. Uh, consider your friendships. Uh, why not just put World Saiyan in the deck as well? Um, can we get a chase it's or might count? Ooh. I gesticulate a lot. I like to, I like, ooh, that was almost did it. Almost, I grazed my pop filter. Went a little caress. Um, let's see. Uh, <laughs> um, Conqueror's Pledge, I kind of want to cut. We love a gesticulator. <laughs> Y'all are nuts and I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Chandra's Ignition, not only is she my favorite planeswalker, but I like this card if we have Infect. No, we don't have Infect, but this is still a good card. What are some thoughts? I love that flavor text. 
The flavor text is so... Oh, God, I love that flavor text. Imagine if we had Fiery Emancipation out with this, too. I love it. I'm so happy with this. Oh, God, I love it. Okay, um... Throws of Chaos. First of all, this art is beautiful. I love Throws of Chaos, the art. It's a cascade with a retrace. I actually don't know how I feel about this. Part of me says no. Uh, Chris, um, I don't know. Cards? Stuff? <laughs> Whoa, we got a lot of... I'm getting confused next year. Um... Um, excuse me, music, why did you stop? That was hateful of you. I've been having some major issues with Spotify as of late. Please? Okay, we're gonna cut it. Seize the day. Yeah, I just feel like the whole point is to get a for for us to you know trickle into good hits. I touched my microphone again. Um, I like seize the day. I feel like that works. Does that work? Oh God. Oh God. I'm sorry. I <laughs> clicked my space bar. Um, it's a keeper. Okay. A relentless assault. Thoughts on the relentless assault. Okay, so Relentless Assault doesn't work. Okay, so let's cut. I feel like we should cut it then. Does that mean Seize the Day doesn't work? target creature after this phase there's an additional okay seize works wait does seize not work okay then we'll keep seize but we'll not okay okay reconstruct history this card I really like this card Reconstructing history. I really like the reconstruct. Then we have past in flames. I kind of like it. I kind of don't. We have 23 cards left to cut, so we are... Oof. All right, let's see. We have differing opinions, so let's bring out the poll. I promise you, my typing isn't meant to look horrible, but it is. And 
And while you vote up above, I'm going to do another scalp massage to my scalp. We have a lot of cuts for this one, you guys. Alrighty, cut, let's do it. And we have Mizix's Mastery, and I'm going to change it to the cool. We do not have the Japanese one. No, we don't have the Japanese one, but look at that. Pretty neat. Um, I like the ma I love this card. Yeah. Alrighty, a uh, Gravitic Punch. Now, I kept this in because this wasn't exactly a, a buff spell like we had originally i just thought it kind of like was a good thing <sighs> got a cut from muffins cut from crevice cut 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 a lot of cuts Alrighty. divine reckoning i feel like we have enough sweepers if i'm being honest i don't think we need divine reckoning because we have so many already. We are safe without it. Disrupt decorum. If anything, maybe we should cut for more expensive. I think they're similar in cost. We'll, we'll go down and double check. But I think they were all around four to five I like this because this can kind of you know help us um you know not die I like not dying in commander um okay Jessica's will this card fuels me with joy and happiness I love Jessica's will to my dying day I love this card this won me on my stream last night it's amazing love Jessica's will Finale of Promise. Here's the deal. This is a nerve-wracking card because it's the next spell. It doesn't work too well with Villamachus, if I'm being honest. However, having those little, um, having the possibility of casting it from our hand, I'm, I'm not, I'm not opposed to Finale of Promise. So what are your thoughts? Alrighty, we have a couple of people saying they don't like it, so we will cut it. And then Vandal Blast is a card I think we just need in here in general. Alrighty, guys. So now we have to go to our instance. And then we'll do some fine tunes and tweaks. And we will be good. So let's start at the bottom with Onward to Victory. So target creature gets... This is one of the cards we should have cut earlier. I'm so sorry. Should have cut it. That's my fault. Mystic Chaos, once we finish cuts, we can look at more ads. Savage Beating. Only during your turn and only during combat, choose creatures you control, gain double strike. On double creatures you control after this phase, there is an additional. I love this. I mean, it's it's perfect for Balamachus. Wild Ricochet. 
Let's talk about Wild Ricochet. I don't think we need Wild Ricochet, if I'm being honest. That's just my very humble opinion, but I don't think we need it. War Leader's Helix. First of all, that art is so pretty. It feels meh, but I hit my microphone again. Um, yeah, I feel meh about the helix. I love the art. Yeah. Overblaze. <sighs> Each time target permanent would deal damage to a creature player this turn, it deals double that damage. I like this. This seems really funny. It isn't only a work once thing, but got some mixed feelings. Alrighty. Mixed feelings means pole. You know what to do, number two. Poll up in chat. I like these polls. I'm really happy that I figured out I could do these. <laughs> it makes it way easier. I'm getting some ideas for my Brian Stoutarm deck. I love Brian Stoutarm. I have like four foils of him and I don't know why, but I really like him. My friend Max at my LGS has this really good Brian Stoutarm deck. Um, that just flings disgusting, nasty things. It's so good. Muffins on a Hill. That's from um, You Don't Know Jack. One of my favorite games from my childhood. He goes, you know what to do, number two. And then they do number two. And then they like list the questions. I love You Don't Know Jack. It makes me, it's such a fun game. Okay. Cut wins for Overblaze. I think we should cut Master Warcraft just because. Yep, it, we cannot do it with our commander ability. However, we are running Sunforger, and it does work with Sunforger. So, what do we do with this information? It's a good, it's a good card, but we got two cuts, one keep, one maybe. It is a good combat trick with Sunforger. Got another keep. Let's keep it in for now. Let's keep it in for now. Uh, heartwarming Redemption, we just added that in and we liked that a little better. Fury Storm. Oof, sorry. Head. Doing weird head things. Mm. Why is my music stopping? Okay. I kind of agree about the cut. I agree about the Fury Storm cut. He's seven mana. I don't know. Yeah, I am using Spotify. Because YouTube will say things are, uh, you know, copyright free, and then they're not. All right, I'm sorry if your storm is gone. Don't be mad at me. Uh, 
Let's talk about cosmic intervention. Ooh, sorry. Knuckle pop ASMR. Got a lot of. We actually have a knowing chat. Okay. <laughs> if it does it once, I think we should probably say no. Comeuppance. My favorite um, combat is card ever. I love comeuppance. Comeuppance. Come up ants. Come, I'm not saying it anymore. I'm so sorry. Um, I love comeuppance. That's a good card. A chrome as well. Keep forecasting for some torture. Yeah. Oops. Oof. Yeah, you get so hungry when your stomach starts hurting. A chrome as well. We got some keeps already. Keep, keep, keep. One cut. We will, we will get Will off of you. It's really good. Ooh, that indestructible option does feel nice. Okay, we'll keep it for now. Wizard's lightning. I think we should cut this. I feel really bad, but I think we should cut wizard's lightning. I like the little wizard there though. He's like, oh, hold on. He's like, hello. I like him. Okay. Wear and tear. I just think it's good, good removal. I think it's very good removal. <sighs> okay. I've always loved Return to Dust a lot. People tell me to not put it in and I don't know why because I really like Return to Dust. Should we swap Rare and Terra for a Return to Dust? Because I just... Oh, we should not use Return to Dust in here because Return to Dust gives us an additional one if it's on our main phase. And we're if we cast it, if we cast this with um, Velo, then we are casting it in our combat phase. So, those are my thoughts. What are yours? Also agree on the Teferi's protection. Love it. It needs to be reprinted more. Okay. Um, we gotta keep Teferi's protection. Oblation. I kinda say no. I just say no. Oh yeah, let's switch the printing to the cute printing. Cause I love that art. Um. Okay, let's get rid of oblation. I love generous gift. Let's let's crush contraband. Why does my mute? Okay, it, it hit Spotify. Why are you doing me dirty? After every nine seconds, it sometimes stops. Okay, you know, fair. It's a higher cost, but I, I actually like that better. Okay, um, deflecting SWAT. We got some keeps. We have 11 cards left to cut, you guys. We're so close. I will keep it. <sighs> Gotta save the dragon. I do love Chaos Warp. I think that art is so cool. Love Chaos Warp. Unleash Fury. I kind of 
don't want it. Yeah. That means we'll, we'll cut the teamer battle rage too. Tybalt's Trickery. I have actually never really enjoyed this card. I just don't... Ugh. Poopies. I say no to the Trickery. Because if we're casting with Velmachus, it's just going to be like... Wah, wah, you know, there's nothing to counter. Alrighty. Someone said Sejiri Shelter. I actually don't like this. Part of me doesn't like this. I'm so sorry. Y'all are liking it. Okay. We only have Giver of Runes. We only have one of them. I will say that. I'll cut it. Lightning Helix. I kind of don't want Lightning Helix in here. <sighs> Deflecting Palm is the funniest thing in the world. I love Deflecting Palm. Okay, fine. Mother's added in. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Dawn Charm. I don't know how I feel about Dawn Charm. We all like it. Okay. We have Path and Swords, which I think they're no-brainers. Let's talk about Boros Charm. Oh, wait, hold on. We have some Dawn Charm uh, discourse. Let's talk about it. Vote now for Dawn Charm. This vote feature has been so helpful in my streams, I gotta say. Well, we still got some time. Let's see you guys. We're at mostly keep on this, but who knows? We could change to guts only. And the winner is keep. Boros charm. I think this is a no brainer. I love me some Boros charm. We keep the swords in the path. Let's talk about Bolt. Now while you guys chat about Bolt, what are our thoughts? We got a cut from Bolt. Got a cut, got a cut. Not many. We're cutting. I'm so sorry, Erismont. Oh wait, I messed up. 
I think I cut the wrong thing. Did I cut the wrong thing? I don't think I did. No, they don't have an undo function. Somebody can go back and someone, if, if anyone wants to volunteer to check the VOD to see if I cut anything by mistake, tell me. Um, so our curve is looking like this now. So what exactly are we going to do? <sighs> Two curves instead of three. We have six cards left to cut. We have 38 lands. I think we can cut one land and, and be good, because I think with there we could cut one land and be fine. So I'm going to actually remove the mirror pool and then leave us at five cuts. Or no. Do you want 38 lands? Okay, I, st I still stand by my decision to cut the, um, okay, cool. Um, oh, look at that. The pips are getting better. Okay, so I'll just add another planes then. Okay. Six cards left to cut. So what are we thinking? What are we feeling? What are we doing? What are we doing? Dang, with Spotify... I always feel weird with 38 lands to crevice. I my sweet spot is 37. 37 is like my sweet area for lands. Oh my gosh, Spotify. What are you doing? It stops after nine seconds. Okay. What are we gonna cut? We have six cards left. Might be able to save at least one, yeah. Okay, let me guess, nine seconds. Yep. Spotify is acting really glitchy today. Cool, made it past nine seconds. Um, okay. I hate to say it. I hate. But maybe we should cut Fiery Emancipation. Should we cut Fire Emancipation? Okay, actually I agree about the pike. Wait, hold on. We'll cut pike. My head is hurting. Here we are in artifacts. <sighs> we can cut a ruby medallion, can we? Is a ruby medallion up for cut? Okay. Medallion's gone. We have Greaves. Okay, let's cut Greaves. Keep the Whisper Silk cloak because Whisper Silk makes unblockable, and I like that. 
Um, okay. Now we have three cards left to cut. So what are we cutting? I hate to do it. It's one of my favorite cards ever made, but yeah. Now we have two cards left to cut. But win more is good. <laughs> what about a Freet Flame Painter? I actually feel like that could be cut. That was the one we were talking about. I feel like we could we could remove the flame painter. I liked her in the beginning, but yeah. Okay, one card left, you guys. Oh, uh, the scroll wielder, the scroll wielder. We don't need him anymore. The scroll wielder is really good to cut. Yep. Okay, now we're at a hundred. So let's see real quick. Alrighty. Good on lands. I forgot to draw for turn. Doesn't change anything. Next turn. Mountain. Next turn. Another mountain. Okay. Next turn. We'll play another mountain we'll play Eros. next turn planes bonk listen yeah we are open early game next turn one two three four five six seven we cast brass's bounty getting with this right here getting 12 treasures hey amanda <laughs> hi amanda how are you i did not cut helm of the host but yeah with this with our pyromancer's goggles we can get double treasures with the brass's bounty so i'll give me one two three four five six Okay, and then we'll use them to like play like an Aurelia. Day off. Oh, that sounds lovely. I had a day off too, but my headache is all poopy. Um. Yeah, pricing a commander decks is all. Actually, let's see how much this is right now. Not bad. That's not bad. Four hundred and seventy-four dollars. That's not bad. Usually we are very high right here <laughs> in the deck price area. Alrighty guys, so should we add anything, change anything, tweak anything? Oh wait, hold on. Forgot about our considering. Um, let's talk about Epicenter. <laughs> Dang, 2000. Keeper of the Accord, okay. I really like Epicenter. Ugh. Ugh, fine, I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. Oof. My head is screaming in pain. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, um. What's thrilling discovery? Um. I feel mad about it. I feel mad about 
thrilling discovery. It's cute, but I don't know if I love it. No fix your early draw. Okay, fair. <laughs> so this means we have two cards left to cut. Okay, I kind of like that. Super excited for Rip Apart. What if we kept Heartwarming and Valakut? Or maybe not. We'd have three cuts. Yeah, it's never a bad thing for the redundancy. Maybe we could cut the Acroma's Will because we already have flying. The double strike is nice and so is the Vigi, but maybe the Acroma's Will would be a good cut. I feel like three. This is the used editions are good. Okay, we'll get rid of the Acroma's Will. I think maybe cutting the deflecting swat. Okay, we'll add it back then. Boop. Maybe deflecting swat, because that just seems like it would be bad to get during combat off of Velomachus, you know? I think this would be a good cut. It's free, but if we get with Velmachus, it's like, mm, you know? Kind of like with Tipple's Trickery. Yeah. I don't have a Wheel of Misfortune in here. We didn't add it. Master Warcraft. Maybe Master Warcraft. Oh yeah, Sweepers. One, two, three. Let's go Warcraft. I was thinking maybe cut Reconstruct History. It's just, it's, it's the old, I don't, I like it, I don't think we need it. Like I like it a lot, but I don't know if we need it. We don't run Planeswalkers. It is a lot of value. This is hard. Okay, let's say Okay, I like to start the quorum. I think we need it. Let's Six. God bless you, Mr. Chaos. Okay, this is gonna make it easier. Um, I say let's uh, get rid of. Dang. Uh -huh. This is hard. <laughs> These last two. 
No, my fan! I knocked over my fan on the floor. Um, these last two cuts are gonna kill us. You think Immolating Gyre can go? Oh, the Chief's Blue Ring are not bad. Okay, let's get rid of Immolating Gyre. One more left. One more. Maybe seize the day? What do you guys think? I think maybe seize the day. Yeah. Okay. Let's see now. Not a good hand, I would mulligan this. Yeah. Ooh! Mother! I forgot to draw for turn. Poop. Okay. Um, bonk. I didn't want to play the thrilling. I'd wait. Boop. I would wait to do it next turn. Bonk. Let's get this out. Let's get this out. One, two, three, four, five. This is where I would do it. Where we would... Nope, wrong one. Yoink. We'll discard the Mizzix Mastery because it has the... Uh, no, I don't want it. Yonk. And... That. And then we draw three. Draw. 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 I like these draws. Okay. More people are saying about Brass's Bounty, the more I kind of agree. So what do we add instead of Brass's Bounty? All right, let's add Seize the Day back in. All righty, guys. So we are now officially back at 100. So how are you feeling about this deck? Please tell me now in chat. What do you think? Do you like this? How do you feel about the cool funness that is Velomachus Orhold? We'll go up and I'll highlight my commander here. Let's switch the printing because the art for the other one. Oh, they don't have the other printing up yet. Yeah, the iffiness of the main face clause I definitely will remember. Alrighty, friends, we have some likes in chat, which means it is time to name this deck. So please drop me some name suggestions for this deck um, down in the chat below, please. What are some names that we should uh, name this deck? And while we are doing that, I'm going to drop some links in chat right now. I see behold the lore hold the lore old five below that's funny I like that I'm gonna go with that one alrighty guys so that is the name of our deck the lore hold five below so first of all thank you everybody for joining me don't leave yet because I'm going to raid another streamer so please stick around uh, thank you guys so very much for joining me on this lovely evening of deck building shenanigans. My name is Chase, also known as Mana Curves. I'm a commander content creator, and you can find me everywhere at Mana Curves. I um, stream collaborative deck building Tuesdays um, um, at 6 p.m. Eastern, 
and uh, I write an article about this stream for TCG Player. So this video will be on that article, and you'll see this article come out this Sunday. Um, let's see. I also stream Paper Commander Wednesdays and Sundays at 6 p.m. Eastern as well. Um, and yeah, I'm sponsored by Ultra Pro and TCG Player. I have a TCG Player affiliate link you can check out there. I also partner with Alter Sleeves. So if you want to support me as a content creator, use that TCG link and use that Alter Sleeves link. Um, and I will have another exclusive sleeve with Alter Sleeves coming very soon, which I'm very excited about. Um, I'm really glad that you like this one. I'm really excited. And yes, we're going to go ahead and raid Olivia. I'll probably just message her about uh, the the how to you know tweak my Twitch thing. So don't spam that in chat. Just give some really cool support to a cool creator who's playing Paper Commander right now. So we are now going to be raiding. Thanks you guys for joining me. You guys have a wonderful night and have a great day. Thank you for chilling out with me and building something really cool and exciting. I look forward to this article coming out this weekend. Alrighty, folks. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!